How many times have you watched your game-winning touchdown? Uh, actually, I only watched it once. Really? <laughs> yeah, I watched it yesterday. Um, and Jerry came over and asked me, did I record the guy? I said, nah, man, <laughs> just been chilling. It was a great play call at the end of the game. Um, and AJ believed in it, so everybody else believed in it. So we just ran the play, and it was easy, it was wide open, we scored a touchdown. How much more comfortable were you in this game compared to the first game? Uh, the first game, I was scared. I, I mean, I thought my knee was going to give out on me. But this game, I was like, hey, it's whatever. Um, just go out there and ball. And if it go out on you, just going to go out. Just go out there and play. Do you? Was there a moment during, like, two weeks leading up to this game where you felt um, well, the coaches kept pushing me and just telling me, run, run, do what you do. you playing scared. They just kept pushing me. And I was like, man, I'm tired of hearing this. I just want to go out here and play and get, get them off me and show them that I'm not scared. Did you play scared against Tech? Tech yeah, I was, I was kind of scared. I thought my knee was going to give out on me. What was that, that first rock? What was that like? To my Saturday? Against Tech. I mean, it was good, but I got stopped in the backfield, so... <laughs> It was a negative play. Was there a moment where you said, okay, I think I can do this? Yeah, um, practice last week for um, for a &M game. I just started running harder, and everybody was like, man, you running so hard, man. What was wrong with you? I said, it ain't me, man. It's the coach. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel to be able to run through some of those big holes on Saturday? It felt really good. The offensive, the offensive line did a great job for us. And, um, we got to continue to build, build on that. Did you feel like you got a couple good hits on some defenders? Yeah, I got a couple good hits, a couple good blocks. Open it up for all the guys that run through. We keep hearing about the duty bus and the duty train. Do you, you talk a little trash out there when, when you run down? <laughs> no, nah, I don't talk too much trash. I mean, I just get up, walk back to the huddle. They talk trash to me, I just laugh it off and keep keep it moving. When you're that wide open like you were on the touchdown pass, is it harder to catch because you're thinking there's no one around you, I can't drop this, I'll look like an idiot? Yeah, it's kind of hard because um, you have to focus in. If, if you take your eyes off that ball and you miss it, it could be in could be deadly for you. <laughs> Quarterback said, I ain't throwing him no more ball. <laughs> I don't care if he butt, butt make it wide open. Hey, I ain't going to mess up my chances. Not with, not with AJ. Were you pushing for that play too? Or when did you hear? Did you just hear the play call in the huddle? Or were you on the sideline? I was in the, um, we was in the huddle and AJ was like, I want to run this play. I want to run this play. And I was like, that play could work because <laughs> they were um, over pressuring on the run. So we seen all those guys just coming over there. Then B Green was tricking one guy. He was like, Nudie, hey, Nudie, look, look. <laughs> like, then he was like, man, forget it. Then he fell for it. Then I was wide open on the back side. So how often does AJ have that freedom to, to call the play? I mean, I, I really don't know. It was just up. Like, Coach Saban made the decision. He asked him what he wanted to go with, and that's what he went with. Does he seem real confident back there with it, with just like mastering the offense and knowing what to check in and out of? Yeah, AJ is a real game manager. Manager. It seemed like the blocking by the running backs in general was a lot better in this game. Um, why? I mean, they it wasn't overloading us like Texas. I mean, Virginia Tech was. So we was able to um, control everything in the line of scrimmage and control the blitzes. He was straight. He worked hard every day, man. Um, I'm very proud of him. I mean, he went out there and did what he had to do. And um, the coach just preached that we have to do, we got to be disciplined, we got to know what we're doing and why it's important to do it that way. So, was, uh, was TJ down on himself after the fumble? Did you have to kind of pump him back up or did he just kind of let it go? <laughs> nah, he just let it go. I mean, we talked to him too and just told him to keep moving, keep pushing. You talked to him at all after that? Nah, I ain't talked with him. Um, but me, I mean, I, I seem like it, it's not a big deal, but everybody making a big deal. But I love TJ. I mean, I hope everybody forgive him for it. He's a good person. On your uh, flea flicker pitch back to AJ, is there pressure on you to make a good pitch there? Yeah, it's a pr pretty automatic play. No, nah, it's not automatic. Actually, you had to um, pitch the ball back and turn around and make sure nobody's coming. So you got to um, block two. Do you like to run that play? I mean, it, it really don't matter to me. I mean, whatever play call, I try to run to the best of my ability. What do you feel like seeing Coach Mack on the other sideline? I mean, it's going to be great. It's going to be real fun seeing Coach Mack. I ain't seen him in a while. I mean, he was one of the guys that believed in me when he was here. What was he like as a coach? Oh, 
Uncle Matt was cool and he was kind of funny because he had this little, little soft voice and crazy type voice and he just tried to talk all crazy and hard and make everybody just laugh. What kind of stuff would he say that was funny? Freak, freak. <laughs> you got one of those deals? You got one of those deals? You got to watch on um, highlights like on Friday night. You just use it. You got one of those deals? <laughs> yeah, everybody just used to laugh. <laughs> um, like if somebody went down, like when the running backs, like Trent or Eddie went down that, that year, like I believe in you, I believe in you. And what, and what I mean by he believed in me. Were you worried you, you might not get back? Or? I was never worried. I mean, I mean, I just used to watch it. Whatever it is, Derrick Rose all the time, like his build up from the Adidas commercial. Like when we were walking back on the court, and I just wanted to have that same feeling coming back. You feel like you had that after Saturday's game? Yes, sir. Yeah. How, is, how is your move? Yeah. It's doing great. All right. Thanks, Appreciate it. Awesome.